<laughs> now share this story like you shared with me earlier. What's up, everyone? You are on the Seek on the Speed 252 show. Scroll down, click that subscribe button, become part of this awesome community. Let's go! Alrighty, everyone, the International Motor Racing Research Center is giving away its first ever electric 5 2024 Corvette E Ray convertible, all wheel drive, and a powerful 6.2 V8 engine. This giveaway is expiring in eight days. For you being a Seagona Speed 252 member, subscriber, viewer of this channel, you get 40% bonus entries on your money. Yes, you heard correctly. 40% more on your ticket purchases, but you better act fast as this giveaway is expiring in eight days. Get your tickets while they last. The way to get your tickets are by clicking the link down in my description or clicking the link in my pinned comment section. When you click the link, go to Donate Now to enter. You will see C Garner as my code that will get you the discount. Click on whatever ticket that works best for you. Obviously, the more tickets you buy, the more interest you have in this awesome drawing to win this 2024 Corvette E-Ray all-wheel drive. You type in your information, and then you go over there and click continue, and you just purchase your tickets for your opportunity to win your brand new 2024 Corvette E-Ray, and good luck. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of See Going to Speed 252. As a lot of you may know, I say every Sunday I'm planning to release a new upload of a subscriber of the channel who owns a C8 Corvette. I'm going to meet and greet you, give you an opportunity to share your love about your Corvette. I'm going to post it on the channel so anybody that's interested in that, leave your comments down below, send me an email. But today, email. But today we got my boy right here. Thanks for having me, bro. And we got this awesome C8 Corvette right here, man. This is a beautiful machine. I'm telling you right now, I'm. I, I'm out saying like I like this rapid blue. All right now I have a celery yellow, and I was going between rapid blue and celery yellow. But man, this rapid blue yeah. is nice. The Tell bright, me, the bright colors for me is where it's at, bro. It just looks way more exotic, way more like a supercar. And yeah, it's a 23 C8 okay. QLT convertible. Okay. And I did a few things, very <laughs> subtle things. Okay. To keep like a tasteful look to it. Absolutely. And yeah, to a lot of people, it looks like like it came like this from factory. That was my whole goal, right? I didn't want to go too crazy, throw an eBay wing the size of someone's porch. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So, uh, how to keep it subtle, man, and, and tasteful. So I noticed here, I'm going to go ahead and give my homeboy a shout out, Jose. He bought his wheels from Jose as well. So Jose, these wheels are absolutely stunning, man. The same exact ones I have on my Z06. What made you get these wheels? I think they're the best wheels for the C8. Um, Z06, Stingray, what e ray um, and they're also very, very affordable, attainable, and the build quality, man. The forged aluminum, you lose a lot of weight, so the rotating mass, I mean, it also adds performance, man. They're just great looking wheels. These are uh, the NC6 uh, brushed aluminum, uh, 21 from the back, 20 from the front. Yeah, just look phenomenal, man. And they're good people over there, wheel designers, forged bike, they take care of you, great prices. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it. I think wheels for at least a Stingray is necessary. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because the wheel fitment from stock is just awful, and that fixes everything. So. Absolutely. I, I really like those wheels. If you guys are interested in buying some wheels for your Corvette, whether it's a C6, C7, C8, contact my homeboy, Jose. Use my discount code, C Garner. And that would get you 250 bucks off your set of wheels. And those guys are awesome. You get free lug nuts, free ceramic coating, and free shipping with that as well. Ford's Light Wheel gave me a pair of their wheels. As you can see, on my Corvette Z06 is the only wheel brand I will stand behind. If you're looking for an awesome set of Corvette wheels for your C8 Stingray, your E-Ray, or your Z06, or possibly your Corvette ZR1, this is a company you should hit up. You know why? Because they're giving away $150 off your set of wheels, free ceramic coating, free shipping, and free lug nuts through Forge Light Wheels. Definitely go to their website, check them out, type in forgelight.com, look at an awesome set of designs that they may have on their website, figure out what wheel pattern you want, figure out what color you want, and on top of that, again, you tell them that Clarence sent you from Seek on a Speed 252, and you get $150 off your set of wheels on top of free ceramic coating, free shipping, free lug nuts, and they will send it directly to your door. I'm telling you right now, 
These wheels are absolutely amazing and they can design whatever you want, however you want. Definitely go ahead up Santos at Forge Light Wheels. For everyone that entered that E-Ray contest and bought your tickets, you got a wheel company that's waiting just for you. So, man, I ain't gonna sit here and lie to you. I'm really loving how beautiful this car looks. What's one of your first mods that you put on this bad boy? So, let's see, what did I do? Oh, I actually did the roof wrap. Started with that, that is a roof wrap. Um, this one with the gloss black. The unfortunate thing is, you will get a little bit of peeling because it is a moving top, convertible top. So there's that, so you got, there's a lot of maintenance on touching up and you probably have to get a new roof wrap every year to pop it. That's not too bad though. Yeah, uh, the coops don't have to do that because you're not, it's on a movable top, it's just, you do it by hand, it's not, none of that basically, but that was the first thing, the tint absolutely was necessary. It's dark. Yeah, yeah, it's 15%, um, you can see out of it fine, you know, I couldn't go darker than that, 5% limo, it's impossible. And but yeah, I mean, most of the time the windows are down anyway. The top is down. Not today. It's a little, little cloudy, but it's all good. Hey, man, it looks beautiful yeah. to me. So what is one thing that you would change about this car after owning it? Um, the one thing that bothered me was the, the exhaust. It's a little too quiet from factory. Um, I still have the stock exhaust on it, but I do plan on changing it to like a boiler or something. But that is really one of my only complaints on this car. Um, you want it looks like a supercar. You want it to sound like one, right? For close to it. So yeah, I mean, I did a few things, like I said, throughout the car. I did these wickers. I think they sell them on a few different websites. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, these are from Wild Hammer. Really inexpensive, and they add a crazy good look to the car. These in the back. Uh, what do they call them? The fusion. The fins. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, really inexpensive. But they're a pain in the ass to put on. <laughs> so if you have someone that will put them on, that's what I obviously recommend. But it looks factory, and that's my whole thing, you know. Uh, what else did I do? I did, did these uh, winglets on the side. Oh, yeah. The side skirts. Yeah, so these here, they cost quite a bit. Uh, so it's a two piece thing. Uh, the ones in the back are from Paragon Performance. Okay. Um, Pretty good company. They're a little bit expensive, but to me it's worth it. And it looks better than the 5EM on the side. What do they call it? The 5EM side rockers yep. or whatever. Yep. And then these up here are the Z06 style rockers from ACS. I love ACS. Yeah. Great company. Great company. Great products. Joe is awesome. Quality. Absolutely. And then You got the rock guards on here too? You have to. You got the right. rock guards? Bigger wheels, bigger tires, you're picking up more. Of those little rocks, don't want rock chips, so that is an absolute mess. And I went with the carbon flash, right? If I threw carbon on there, it just there's already a lot going on. There's blue, there's red, there's black. The interior is like that gray color. It got silver. You know, I, I planned it very, very well. It should be open. Oh, you got the sky cool gray seats. Belts, they're originally black. Oh, you changed those yourself? Uh, took it to a dealership. Nice. Yeah, I, I couldn't do the black seatbelts. I had to tie it in with the calipers somehow. Right? I agree with you. That's the same way it is in my car. Red seatbelts, red calipers. Yeah. That's dope, man. And then right here you have carbon fiber on the inside a little bit. Yeah, I have to do a little bit, right? I mean, I, I love carbon fiber. I just couldn't go too crazy with it on this build. Um, like I said, it just wouldn't even now share this story like you shared with me earlier you used to own a mclaren but you got rid of mclaren and kept the c8 now that's the story to share yeah man so i, I had the c8 um got the mclaren so i had them both at the same time and then i decided to sell the c8 and i had to get rid of the mclaren it's a great thing for your bus the mclaren was a diesel of a car to keep up with Really, you get the same feel, same sort of performance. You still blend in with supercars that meets rallies, you know, cruises, whatever, for a fraction of the price, man. And you're not in the shop every other month. You know, wow. that's, that's the thing, right? Wow. Um, this thing's been rock solid since day one. I've had it for one year. 
Uh, that McLaren is in the shop every other month, every two months. Really? Yeah, I mean, I loved it when it worked, right? <laughs> you know, but it was just like kind of annoying to deal with. And I get it, you know, you, you don't buy these cars for liability. You know, that's not the first thing that comes to mind. But it is nice when you get in the car and the last thing on your mind is, is it going to start today, right? Oh, that's the experience yeah. you have with that? Well, yeah, you know, it's just like these little gremlins. Like, they're just like electronic like nightmares when it comes to the Good to like, know. That's like most supercars. You know what you're getting yourself into. I don't hate McLaren. I don't hate any of those other cars. I'm just saying it's just something you got to prepare yourself for. What made you get the convertible over the coupe? Um, I know everyone always, that's like a huge thing online, right? Like, <laughs> you see the engine or not. For me, uh, I live in California. The PCH is literally like two minutes away. Okay. So I have to get the um, and also, when the top is on or down, I love these two little... I don't know what the nacelles? Called. Yeah, dude. This gives it a way more supercar look to me. I agree. You know, so... Whether the top is on or off. And also, that back window going up and down. It's tough, man. I really like that a lot. Now, you did what a lot of my followers keep telling me to do. So, I got black nacelles on my car, mm -hmm. but my roof is not black. My roof is the same color as the okay. car. People's like, oh, you should make it black. But I, I just wanted it to look different. Yeah, you know, stand out a little bit. Right? A little bit. Something different, right? But I, I don't plan on keeping this roof wrap on for much longer. Maybe after you know it's fully done, I'll take it off and just walk to all blue. Okay. But I'm loving it for now, man. I mean, I threw the 5 EM uh, front lip. Oh, that's nice. It's very inexpensive part. I went with the cheapest one I could find, just mainly because I probably will rip it off at some point on the driveway for being that, real. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um. I want it to be easily re replaceable. I didn't want to get the most expensive one I could find, but it still looks great. Uh, carbon flash. Now, the, do you have front lift with this? I don't. <laughs> so here's what's your experience of owning this car and not having front lift in California? Because from my experience, I feel like a lot of places here you got to go up a hill, go down a hill. Yeah, I guess it depends where you live. Like, I guess if you're in L.A., in L.A. County, I would definitely recommend a front end lift. I'm here in Orange County. Roads are great. I don't have to think about it too much. And yeah, I mean, I scrape here and there, but it's you know it's still on there, so we're good. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man, absolutely, dude. This is one beautiful car. I really appreciate you letting me actually see it in person and get an opportunity to interview you for the channel, man. And yeah, of course. dude, Thanks you. For having me, dude. Oh, it. yeah, absolutely, man. This is this is your car looks good, man. Thank you. Dude. Yeah, hopefully I can get on with a cruise with you guys at some Let's point. Do it, bro. I'm here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this upload. Leave your comments down below. He got a beautiful machine right here. Definitely get this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing another episode of Seek on the Speed 252. Two.